All right, ladies and gents, today we are going to do a quick little review of this little beauty here, the Kershaw Link. This is the uh, kind of the upgraded version with the M390 steel in it, as you can see right here. Come on, there we go. There you go, the M390. Um, this is not an expensive knife. It's, uh, it's coming in under a hundred dollars American and about 85 American. If you're purchasing this knife in Canada, you're probably going to be looking at about, uh, a hundred and a hundred and fifty. Um, as for the particulars on this knife, what you're looking at is a blade length of about three and a quarter. Your blade thickness, your blade stock, isn't all that thick. It's coming in at 0.11. It's not the thinnest blade stock out there, but it's definitely not as thick as some of the other stuff that's out there. It does do a fine job of cutting. And it's not the lightest knife, but it's not overly chunky. It's coming in at about uh, 4.78 ounces. Now think what you will there's different opinions out there on um, on this but it is an assisted flipper which means that there's uh, a speed safe the speed safe system is in here that's the system that Kershaw has used to assist in the opening and what assisted is is you can see that it, the blade swings pretty freely here but as soon as you get by this here it wants to push itself open and so and it also kind of wants to push itself closed at about there but it deploys very rapidly 100% of the time all the time at least for me so far, which is nice. Blade steel, nice. The ergos are very nice. Um, it sits in the hand very nicely. Okay, so just uh, we'll do a size comparison here. There you've got your Benchmade bug out. So it's not all that much bigger than the bug out. It is bigger than the bug out though. Uh, what else can we do here? Okay, so we've got the... Zero tolerance, 0562 CF, which is larger than it is. The uh, PM2, which is also a fair bit bigger. The rat number one, again, bigger. So, I mean, the link, uh, the link is a kind of smaller knife. Um, a smaller knife that we can put up in here. There's your Sheepdog Mini, your Kaiser Sheepdog Mini. So that should be enough of a size comparison for you guys to get a basic idea on the size of this particular critter. Now, um, as I said, the ergos on this thing are great. Um, it sits in the hand very nicely. The blade shape, it's, uh, there's no flat to it. Uh, it's all belly and it's got a nice uh, nice tip for um, a nice tip for penetrating into whatever it is you'd like to be cutting um, it's very very narrow the or, or very very narrow behind the edge it's a uh, it's quite a slicey quite a slicey knife uh, comes comes pretty good right out of the box there Holds a good edge, of course, with the M390. So it comes very sharp, and it comes uh, it comes very sharp and uh, with a good grind on it, with nice flat grind. It does have a, a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a grind on the top here for aesthetics, which I also find nice. Um, other than that, it's got a nice backspacer. They paid some attention to that. They threw a little bit of detail in that. And the clip is your typical Kershaw clip. Nothing too fancy about it. Uh, but I do enjoy the fact that uh, this particular clip 
in and out of the pocket very, very easily. Really liking that. And it's kind of got this little hump back here, which is a nice place. It just kind of it just kind of goes to the contours of your thumb quite nicely here. I don't know if you can there you go. So your thumb just kind of fits in there very, very nicely. It just adds to the ergos of the of the knife. And it's a very, very well done. Uh, very well done ergonomically. It fits in the hand quite nicely. The clip is a little bit of a hot spot, but not nearly as much as one might think. Um, as far as some of the drawbacks go, uh, it could stand to use a little bit of jimping here, uh, just for kind of better purchase, uh, for better purchase on the blade. And I might even want to see a forward finger choil, just so you could choke up, so you could choke a little further up on the blade to get into some... Uh, uh, to get into some harder push cuts. So, you know, a forward finger choil, it could stand to benefit from that. Maybe a little bit of jimping back there. Um, lanyard hole, um, uh, lanyards, I find, just get in the way of things. Uh, they're, they're absolutely, uh, lanyards are just absolutely wonderful for getting in the way when you're closing your blade up. Um, and... Yeah, not a huge lanyard fan. Like I said, I find they just tend to get in the way. So these lanyard tubes, they're just, you know, whatever. Um, it's a liner lock. So it's not the sturdiest of locks. However, this lock is good to go. It's got a lock up of about 50%. I don't know if you can see that or not in there. Let's see. But the lock up is good and solid. It, it's good to go. Even though liner locks aren't quite as uh, reliable as frame locks, this particular liner lock, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it whatsoever. I've been, I've been using this knife uh, a fair amount uh, to do stuff, and the liner lock has not failed. So... Uh, that's pretty much it as far as this knife goes. Uh, like I said, good ergos, excellent steel. The price point on this is excellent. I mean, you're getting a pretty, you're, you're getting a well-made knife for not a lot of money. Like that's M390 steel in there. Arguably the best knife steel out there for folding knives. Now I know the steel nerds out there are probably going to jump all over me for that, but there's, there, there is a strong argument for the quality, the high quality of the super steel that is M390. Um, and you're getting it at a rather, uh, at a rather inexpensive price here. It's very good at cutting. Um, good ergos. Pocket clip is great. So, I mean, as far as the pocket knife goes, the pocket part of it, beautiful. In and out of the pocket, very, very well. As far as the knife part of it goes, Congratulations, Kershaw! You made yourself something that'll cut, and it is made. Uh, it is made in the U.S. of A., uh, which is which, which is nice. I mean, I'm Canadian, but it is nice to see things made on this side of the pond. So, way to go, Kershaw! And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about the Kershaw Link in M390. It is a fantastic knife. Um, it's not big. It does, it is a little thick. You're going to notice that in your pocket, but then again, uh, some people, uh, some people don't mind that at all. And it does have a pivot that will not spin. So upon disassembly, you don't have to worry about that. And, uh, it is a nice knife. Overall, we're looking at, uh, we're looking at something that uh, I don't mind carrying uh, quite often. So, if you're thinking about buying the Kershaw Link, I would uh, I would actually recommend that you kind of step up your game a little bit if you can, and throw a couple extra shillings in and see if you can get the uh, the version with the M390. Uh, you will you will be pleased with this knife. It is a good knife. All right. Well, thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.